Okay, folks, this is a bit of a mystery. I, I could read the brand of this product, but I don't know exactly what it is. It looks like a chocolate wrapper, but it's got a name that's more to do with um, perfumes that I've had my dad, even though my dad's an asshole, he used to give me uh, perfume. Uh, and he bought some really luxe brands, including uh, Dolce and Gabbana. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, so that's the brand of this item that I'm going to be demoing here. Just caught, just there. So let's see if I can make this interesting. Uh, I don't know what it is. I don't want to undo it. I don't want to flatten it out because I want to keep it the way that it was when I picked it off the street. Keep it authentic, in other words. Keep it real. Okay, let's see what this is, this luxe product. It says Dolce Gabbana, which is the brand of uh, perfume, and I think it's a chocolate. I didn't know they made chocolates. I, not that I really care about this sort of shit very often, folks. I'm not a fucking richo. Dad used to buy it for me, all these perfumes and shit. Um, I do like perfume, folks, I must admit. Um, I do like the smell of it. Even though I'm not a typically a perfume type person anymore, I don't fucking wear it. I think I forgot to set it up correctly. But yeah, I know the name Dolce and Gabbana. Uh, it's a, it was something that my dad bought, perfume. And that's come up looking nice. I do need a background colour to make it look better. Yeah, Dolce and Gabbana. And he used to buy the perfume called that that brand. Dolce, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not very good at pronouncing things, folks. I know what I forgot. This is what we need. Background colour. Gonna make it magenta. We haven't used that one for a while. Um, maybe we're gonna make it more red. Gonna leave it like that. Yeah, Dolce and Gabbana. Indeed, it reminds me of my father. Yeah, my dad's one of those types of people who likes luxury product. I think both my parents are have always liked the luxury stuff, even though they were never rich. Uh, well, at least mum was never rich and dad... When he became it, when he left his job as a technician, he became he um, got into management, and he was doing management roles in within what was called uh, OTC, Overseas Telecommunications Commission, which mer merged sometime in the late nineties, early tw early twenties, early two thousands, as we know it as today as Telstra, but the, that was the merge between telecom and and um, OTC, Overseas Telecommunications Commission. So yeah, my dad was into the telco shit. Um, but basically, yeah, um, he made was in management up until around. Oh, he got made redundant, unfortunately. Uh, he is told that he was too overqualified, as it, as it often happens in this day and age. People like to. I think companies typically like you to uh, like to save money by hiring people who are less um, experienced, who are just trainees. I actually think this might need to be a little bit less on the vertical. But yeah, I think the companies would prefer to um, hire people who are less um, less experienced because it's cheaper. Works out cheaper in the end. Which is really sad. A lot of good talent goes to waste these days. Even though my dad's an asshole, I still think it was a shame he lost his job. Uh, he didn't want to leave. 
but he did have to. He retired, but he, he got a good retirement package, apparently. Uh, that's better. He got a good retirement package. So he's been, he's, he, he was with, in the company for like more than three decades. So he had really a good um, innings, you could say, in the industry, in the telco industry. Uh, interesting yeah Dolce & Gabbana so my dad really liked luxury things um, he was always a luxury sort of person and my mum was too um, unfortunately I never I never amounted to much I'm now I work in a disability enterprise instead of working in the job that I wanted to work in to become a um, I wanted to be a photocopier technician folks and I just couldn't because my disability stopped me from doing it uh, which is really sad but I I have to just try and get focus on what I'm talented at and this is what I'm good at is my photocopier art which my dad absolutely abhors and so does my brother and my mum doesn't seem to think it's going to um, make me any money she thinks it's just a waste of money she would rather me sit down and read a book <laughs> I don't want to read books that's boring but you know that's the way that it is uh, because I sold myself short when I was young and I had opportunities when I was young. I could have married this man called Luigi who could have opened the doors for me. So, yeah, unfortunately, I've never had a truly luxe life except scratching together just under 10 grand, working in other disability jobs full time. And I had no time to spend, not too much time to spend the money and things were a lot cheaper back then and things were better and now we have to fucking scrimp and save and yeah it's really annoying and that's come up looking really quite interesting I think we can now call this demo quits